Nikki Shenfeld spent the day in upcountry Maui. Let's check in with her. Nikki. Hey, Joe. Yes, well, there's a bit of improvement here in upcountry. Behind me, you can see the Olinda fire. It was a lot bigger just about an hour ago. You could see the rainbow forming. There are raindrops that are getting thicker, clouds that are getting grayer, rainbows that are forming, and we can only hope that it just starts downpouring, especially over upcountry Maui. Of course, we're not going to really know or see the flames until it gets a little bit darker, so we're going to keep our eye out on that. But, of course, it's still going to be a pretty uneasy night for a lot of residents who live down Haleakala. So we'll keep an eye on that. But this morning, Mayor Bisson said the upcountry fires were not contained and 1,100 acres had burned. It's safe to assume more acres have burned since then. The wind is also dying down up here. It was relentless earlier, almost falling over, uh, but it, it's improving a lot, so that's good. We went over to Kulalani and Ainokula areas uh, earlier this afternoon. Homes were completely burned to the ground, including cars. There were some homes right next door that were okay. The girl I spoke to whose house was intact said that she had put water on her roof before she evacuated her home and believes that's why her house was okay, but her neighbors wasn't. And we spoke to another woman who said the community really came together and doused her whole entire house with water and her house was okay as well. And then of course we have our evacuees from Lahaina who came up country and stayed at families' homes. And here's what one of them had to say. Everyone I know is homeless. Everyone I know has lost a home, lost a family member, lost their pets. There's nothing. No one has anything to give. We're just out here being miserable with each other at this point. And I'm having Mosh look at that rainbow because that's the best thing I've probably seen all day. And uh, it's a sign of hope after such an emotional day for so many people. Again, we can only hope that this rain continues and becomes much harder, especially for the upcountry area. But of course, we're going to keep an eye on the Olinda fires and what's taking place later on tonight. So, Joe, we'll send it back to you.